What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Super Villain. You already know what time it is. Another review. And these don't even need an intro. You know, they just released yesterday. On um Damn, what was yesterday? The 17th. The 17th of November. And Bang! Rookie of the Year, Air Jordan 1. Even though in this lighting they kinda look like a Shadow Backboard 2.0 or reverse shadow backboard, but yeah. Here it is, super, super dope pickup, super dope shoe. You guys already know, Jordan 1s. I'm hype about, about the pickup. So there we go, we got a better focus on the shoe there. I'm excited, as I always am, every time I pick up a Jordan 1. Super, super clean silhouette. Um, if you're not familiar about the backstory with the shoe, it's called the Rookie of the Year Jordan 1 because it is inspired by the outfit that Jordan wore when he received his Rookie of the Year award for his first season. And I, just, I really like, you know, what I like is that it's like a different material. It's really, really nice suede material here. Kind of got little vibes from the that best hand in the game pack. But it's like an OG-esque style colorway, you know, like what's been trending this year. But um, these are dope, man. So again, these did release yesterday on um, the 17th alongside both Union LA ones, which your boy struck out on both. <laughs> one, of, one of the guys I work with actually copped a pay. I might have a video coming soon. He said he'll let me do a review, so just wait on that. But um, this is a pretty dope shoe. I, I, I think it's sold out. Um, if anything, probably small size is probably sold out like they always do. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into an in-depth review of what we're working with right here. So here we have it. And you know, this is another one of those OG style color blocking, um, models that Jordan has been doing with the ones and I have honestly been loving. So this is obviously using like a, um, Chicago one style color blocking um and this is that that nice tumble leather they've been doing this year real real nice with the tumble leather swoosh is that seal color seal color midsole black outsole this very very nice suede here the official color is golden harvest but it's like a wheat color um more black leather around here and then of course people are saying this is inspiration from um, the off-white line but what this reminds me of more is if you're OG head like me <laughs> SB Dunk Highs you know back in the day SB Dunk Highs you wear them you don't lace them through here and then the flaps come out but people are comparing it to the off-whites but SBs definitely do this first. And so, there's actually words behind every flap now. This is a quote from him, from MJ Warren. He received the award. This award is nice, but I just feel it is very important for each individual to go out and contribute to his team by the man himself. And right here is the stats for that, his, you know, his debut year. So, which was 84 to 85. Rookie of the year, 2,313 points, 20.2 points per game. It's average, and then, you know, simple shoe, but like I always say simple but effective. Oh, sail white tongue, that white mesh, like always. Only difference is, is this, um, this Nike logo is actually leather instead of being that regular like nylon material. And then you have the black, I mean, I'm sorry, the, the red, glossy, Nike Air logo right there. Um, it does come with an optional set of red laces, you know, in case you want to get a little, a little spicy. Then the insole is that like wheat colored insole, black Nike Air logo. That's about it. And then we'll go ahead and dive into the box. Of course, your typical Jordan 1 box, black with the red. I got way, I'm 
not gonna say too many of this color box because I don't have enough because there's still plenty of pairs of ones that I want that I don't have. But yep, black and red. Join a warm box, official colorway golden harvest slash black slash sale. And retail was $106, of course. And that's about it with the box. Let's go ahead and do the final thoughts on the shoe. So I think these are really cool. This is definitely a shoe I can see myself wearing a lot, especially now during the fall. I think they really, really did pick a perfect time to release this sneaker. Um these are just clean, man. Right, but then I get my bias because I love Jordan once. If I can, I will buy every single pair. So, but now again, these did sell out on the sneakers app. I'm not sure about like other stores or the retailers. I'm pretty sure anything besides that, like below a size 10 is gone. But you know, Bigfoot Gang 11 and up, I think you could still you could still find them out there. And if you want to pay that pretty penny. There ain't no stock X and GOAT, always got it for you. And this is your regular Jordan 1. It's gonna, it's gonna run true to size, just like any other Jordan 1. You don't have it, you already know what to do. Go to your local store, try on a different pair. But that's about it. You know, these, these are really, really cool. I'm excited as I always am to have any Jordan 1. And that's about it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will be back with another video soon, guys. Take it easy.